it's pretty early in the morning, about 5.30. Um, I'm looking at the elevator. I'm going uh, to get coffee. The boat is moving here and there. We're getting close to Aruba. I'm gonna try to see if I can see the see the um, boat moving with the pool. Let's go. My camera is foggy right now, but here's my coffee mug. I can't film it while I do it, but let me see. Well, my camera's still pretty uh, hum humified. But I got my coffee in here. It's kind of hot, but you can hold it a little bit, but you've got this. All right, we are in Aruba. Here's the rear site, me without glasses, I have contacts in. We got in at about 7 a.m. I was live streaming on TikTok, but um, I'm gonna do the old, uh, hold on a second. There's our magnet wall. Well, let's do an Aruba outfit check. Hey, got my sunglasses on. But we're pretty excited to be going out. Our excursion, we're gonna be on a schooner. They're gonna cook for us and we're, they're gonna take a snorkeling into a beach. So it's gonna be pretty fun. Can't wait. Another good thing about staying on deck one, even though it's the bottom, is we only got to go down one flight of steps to be at the gangway to get off the boat today. Uh, getting back on, that's going to be nice because we don't have to wait on the elevators or go up a lot of flights. We can just get in, go up one flight, and we're right at our room. When we disembark on the 7th, we will have to get up to deck number three to get off the boat, which isn't too bad. We can carry our stuff up there. Anyway, thought I'd share that. On our way to our excursion.
back from our excursion and it was it was pretty fun. The food was great, the snorkeling was good, the employees were pretty good too, they were real chill. They kind of let us do what we wanted once they gave us the rules. But we're back and the room is nice and cold, which I like, because uh, it was hot out there. Uh, our laundry, our platinum laundry, so we each get three bags free on a seven day plus uh, cruise. This is an eight day cruise, so we each did a bag yesterday and it came back today while we were out. So now we each have some fresh laundry. This is the bag, so if you're wondering, you can cram a lot in there. I had about uh, 10 articles of clothing between shorts and shirts. Uh, it's pretty good. Comes back folded and ready to wear. One really cool thing that the government of Aruba offers are these trolleys that actually will take you all over town. So we're going to go on it. Hello. Hello. Whoops. We just never did it. It's mainly like downtown, but what a good seat to have. That's our language, Papimento. For all is good afternoon, and Papimento is Bon Tardi. Bon Tardi. Welcome aboard. Now we're going to the downtown area. We'll have some few stops in between. First stop will be the Rancho de Boss Terminal. Thomas Caballero, we're going to start in here. We need a lot of Grand Placer. side of the trolley, the yellow buses, those big yellow buses, the line 10 A or B, let's go to the hotel direction like Eagle Beach, Palm Beach, Faro, the hotel zone for the casinos. Lado derecho, pero observar los buses amarillo, la línea. Y si tú deseas dejar la propina, puede dar el conductor, la propina está altamente apreciado. Como pueden observar al lado izquierdo, el edificio amarillo, verde y blanco, nuestro museo arqueológico, construido en los años 1885 y reconstruido en el año 1929, abierto hasta las 5. Open till 5 o'clock in the afternoon. That's a natural archaeology archeolo museum, I can't speak. That's the National Archaeology Museum. So there's three stops on this trolley. We have the bus terminal stop, the National Archaeology Museum, and then the Renaissance Hotel downtown area. It's not a huge drive, but it's still a really nice, relaxing experience. You can see some cool architecture. Cafe. It is one of the stops on the trolley. 